Praise be to Jesus Christ. Lent is the most amazing and magical season of all seasons in the liturgical calendar of the year. Lent season lies between the finishing days of cold winter season and the beginning of pleasant spring season. During this season, there is a lot of climatic change in the weather condition. In some parts of the world, there is heavy to very heavy rainfall with thunder and lightning. In some parts of the world, there is strong wind and storms beating against the mountains and rocks. As a result, the dry leaves from the trees are all fallen to the ground and made the plants and trees to stand like the skeleton. Gazing at the scenario of the nature, we can see some magical change is taking place in the innermost being of the nature. Slowly, the dry leaves get decayed, and when the spring rain comes, the decayed dry leaves water seeps under the earth, and roots of the plants and trees collected it as a source, and it brings forth new leaves and shoots. And later, we can see the plants and trees with new leaves, blossom with buds and flowers, with varieties of colors, with sweet fragrance. The birds of the air take shelter and build their nest in its branches, and the butterfly and bees collect nectar and receive life. Dear brothers and sisters, the nature before our eyes is a good example for our life. The storms and winds, the heavy lightning and thunder, the snow and rains are the difficulties and hardships of life we come across in our daily life. The spring rain is the grace of God which brings new life, peace, joy and hope. Yes, dear brothers and sisters, during this holy season of grace and mercy, the Holy Mother Church is inviting us to put away our old ways of life and put on the new nature of life. It is a season of inward spiritual journey within oneself. It is a season of self-renewal, self-awareness and self-emptying. As we journey through these 40 days and 40 nights along with Jesus, together with His sufferings, let us also surrender our sinfulness, our pains, our unworthiness, and our nothingness. Let Jesus transform our lives and make us pure during this magical season of Lent. Let me conclude with the words of St. Paul letter to the Romans chapter 12, verse 2, which says, Be not conformed to this world, but be a transformed by the renewing of your minds, so that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Oh.